All right, so we're back at Southern Fried Gaming Expo. And like I said, if you watch my prior stream, sometimes you see things that blow your mind at a place like this. And what I fought, found when I was looking around was this Street Fighter VI arcade. It's a custom Street Fighter VI with a CRT in it. And I got Josh with me. He's the creator of this. And he's going to maybe go over a little bit of what he did. Because, man, you put in a yeah. lot of work into yeah, this Yeah, a lot, lot of work. Um, we talked yesterday. Yeah. And i um, been working on this since August. Um, I, I picked the project up. Um, I actually picked up four arcades last summer. And then this was the fifth one. And this is what got everything started. Yeah. So like, um, they already had you know Street Fighter VI and everything. I was like, you know what, Capcom. And then as soon as I figured out about classic mode, six buttons, and I was like, it, it's game. Yeah. Because that's like <laughs> one thing I do when I like made like a plan with Cabin or anything like that is one preservation, and um, you know, you know, you want the team preservation. You don't want to, yeah. you know, change anything. I don't want to start drilling holes, going eight buttons, or yeah. trying to do modern layouts, or you know. Uh, um, so I kept everything. It's original as that. Um, so this actually has other plans evolving. It's gonna eventually it's gonna have a C C uh, CBS2 alongside of it. Yeah. So it'll run there, but it'll run official hardware. But this has got everything going. It's awesome. Um, I'm sure they want to see the cabinet. Yeah, so yeah. We can, um, we can so yesterday go, you yeah. showed me the guts yeah. of it. Should we start there and then kind of? Yeah, there's people playing. So let's go to All the right, back. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go to okay. the back. Yeah. <laughs> I might need to. I have something good for you today. Oh, sweet! He's got a light. We have a light. This, this is awesome. My, yeah, this. Oh. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Nice. So yeah. So walk me through what we got here. So yeah, we could get in here. So yeah, here's the uh, inside of the thing. So basically, the build will start up with the CRT and everything. So um, the definitely wanted to keep the CRT in here. Didn't want to go. Uh, would never go LCD in a yeah. build like this. Uh, so the magic kind of is happening is all happening in these uh, the scaler. What is uh, so this is a particular scale I got working. I went through a bunch of scalers trying to get to the, the right one, one that yeah. worked out there. And that's going just so everyone knows. So you're going out of the PC HDMI yep. into HDMI that. HDMI is right here, and this is coming in. You know, component, out component to component to, in. Yeah, and this is just a this is just an, actually a component, and you can do this with uh, what R2. brand was this TV? Do you remember? Uh, it's, the tube's an Orion tube. I did put okay. the branding in there for you, but I'm getting there. Um, but you can do this to anything. This is a component screen, and it was a curve, so it wasn't. It's not a flat CRT. Yeah, yeah. So it got had everything there. You can do this with a RK chassis with the VGA, the same type of VGA converter, RGB, and then bust nice. out that way too. But uh, yeah, moving down. So this is the this is the core of the system running. Um, I actually had, um, I ran, this machine's actually memory hungry. It's running on 32 gigs because of the video reels. Okay. I was running on 16 gigs and having issues. So 32 gigs of RAM, just the standard. You got a, a GTX 970 and get everyone to specs. And um, yeah, just running on a, everything runs on a solid state hard drive. And um, the power supply, um, I picked the big power supply because this not only runs the board, but this actually goes out to other components. Uh, Power and power and you know getting coin door lights and stuff yeah. like that. Is so any any accessory stuff I need to pull yeah. power for. I Is the PC build also powering the display above as well? Yeah, yep. Yeah, that's okay. that's pulling that's pulling power. Um, Everything powers down. It's hard to see down here, but there is actually this is wired into a uh, mounted surge protector uh, that's screwed into the side. Okay. So and you're getting, you're getting. We got a rail of power there, 110, and then 5 volt, 12 volt. And then the first thing you notice when you're when you go walk up to this thing, it's like so loud. Yeah. So like we got to talk about the audio because you did an awesome yeah, job so on that. Yeah. The audio system. The audio system was a actually a really cool journey that I went down. Um, the, we'll start at the bottom because we're down here. This is a this is a Denon subwoofer. Oh, it's a Denon. And, okay. Yeah, and if you can see the little control panel, this is right here. The lid. There's just a finger finger width for that to slow it yeah. going out in there. <laughs> this side, there is no room. This subwoofer was to spec. I had this actually sitting in my um, I have a recording studio, so this left the recording studio, went into this cab, and um, all the reinforcement because this had to travel. I was like, yeah. this has to come to the show. Um, the, the brackets are here from the CRT, uh, this is, and there's brackets here. So this subwoofer, this whole cab could technically be tipped upside down. It laid, on, laid back on the side. You can see it got some road, road rash. How many watts is this? Um, this is a, 
Uh, it sounds loud. It's an eight inch driver, but it's, so it's a small sub, but it's actually picking up the bass from the actual box in the cab. Yeah. And then so, if we go up here, you, were, you did something fun with the speakers yeah. too, right? All right, so now this is really interesting, and um, I can get you some links and stuff and send them um, over to you. But these are um, uh, down to, like these are all, re all the arts reproductions. So I even got the original Capcom CS, and these are the speakers. These are not original speakers, however, these are one-off replicas. I got these off of a Capcom Q-Sound candy cap, a Japanese Q-Sound cap. This is what they run in there to spec, which is actually the same speakers they run in Big Blues. Yeah. So the drivers awesome. in these are actually Yamaha S22s. I figured that out. So I ripped the chassis, ripped the grill, take them apart. Yeah. And these are the actual Yamaha drivers, exact to spec. So you're running, so you're running the same exact drivers right. that would have been in the original. In the big blue, yep. And these are these are the boxes. The guy did give the the guy on the website is a form I got through, and um, he he had everything specked out as far as uh, dimensions. Um, they are properly ported to dimensions. Um, everything is, um, and yeah, the speakers are all pretty okay. much just like you would see the speakers. So, um, and um, they get, and uh, no, they went back around. But all this, all these are all like quick disconnects too. Everything's oh, nice. serviceable. Yeah. All these, this is all specialty hardware. This so is yeah, awesome. everything can be done with uh, <laughs> so X awesome. and Allen keys and stuff like that. And um, then, and then around the original cab, this was uh, Alpha. Was it Alpha? Yeah, or? this is so the the cab markings I did find right underneath. Uh, if people are familiar with Big Blues, right underneath the CRT, there's a board that they have stamps. So okay, they yeah. stamped 1995. Um, so I did kind of mark the artwork 1995. Yeah. And yeah. this is presumably this was uh, Street Fighter Alpha. That was what, what this cab was running. Um, so this, but this is what they would have in here. Awesome. I have some cool stuff I brought today too. Oh, nice! So, um, and we can show the camera here. I'm gonna bring this kind. Yeah, check this out, man. Here. So, so when I'm doing in here, and actually, here is some of this is the actual original cabinet, and this is some variants of games they run in here. So this would be this cabinet with Alien versus Predator, and as you can, and I actually did this. So like, the, the, there's a big debate over where the Q Sound logo goes. Yeah. So if it goes at the bottom. It goes in the middle. You'll see people do it both ways. Yeah. Well, according to Capcom, it goes to the, the magazine bottom, print right? from the 90s. That's where it goes. So that's, <laughs> that's um, awesome. But this is some other other variants. Um, I believe that's closer to the one you have, right? Yeah. You're, yeah. That's uh, exactly. Yeah. That's yeah. exactly. Pretty and much. You're running one. still. Um, you're running uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, right? I yeah. actually changed it back. It's it's all now Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition. Yeah, Championship all, Edition. Yeah. So you you're not running you're running you were we're running Naomi Hardware. Yeah, now I'm original so hardware. Yeah. yeah, original hardware. So, but yeah, so that's familiar with the channel. You'll know that one yeah, from yeah. there. But then there's just some other stuff here. I think there is. Street Fighter. Uh, yeah, the movie. Some that's more awesome. ads and stuff. Cool. And, and how has the um, overall reception been of the game? Yeah, Dungeons and Dragons for you and other stuff like that, but kind of cool yeah, to nice. bring that for you. So as far as the game, um, the game, this this game has been having this line yeah, this over and over again. You, <laughs> before we're done, the whole people will shift out. It'll be a whole different crowd That's here. So, so awesome. But um, it's been running. Uh, today, I, I got here, I've been here since 9, but the floor opened up at 10 o'clock. I've been doing the show from 10 to about 30 minutes before we started the interview, I've been walking the whole floor. We've been eating and stuff. That's great. So the game is not maintained, nothing. It, it's it's no, not working no at all. We People came over earlier and I played the game. So. Yeah, everyone's been in a game. So that was that was awesome to see that, uh, you know, since it's, it, you know, it's not meant to be, but it actually is working in a convention environment. That's yeah. kind, of, kind of cool to see where people actually get to enjoy it. Uh, and then are you, are you, are you, um, play, what are your, like, long-term plans for this? Are you going to plan on doing other things with it? Or? Uh, this year, like, the only thing I'm going to do with it is I'm going to I'm going to source the CS, uh, CPS2 for it, um, and I'm going to have to build a build a switch where it's going to basically have to be another harness and do some kind of crossover. We're not going to have, you know, power yeah, yeah, flickering yeah. through. But that's stuff you can figure out. And I, I am in the works of uh, actually starting a website that is oh, going cool. to be... Um, right. I'm going to be selling artwork mainly, and I'm showing you the... Mainly it's going to be Japanese to English translated artwork that hasn't been done. There's a lot of Capcom okay. art alone that has, that's all, it all needs to be translated. But that well, requires... That, that brings up something we didn't talk about that you told me yesterday. Like on your active marquee stuff above, yes. a lot of that you had to translate from Japanese to English, English. right? Yeah. yeah, and then if, you, if and then anyone that knows anything about graphic design knows that if you cut 
text out of art, the art comes with the text, so that all has to be rebuilt. Yeah. So like I had, so we'll show some of it in a second here, but that was, that was, I had like, I think on the JoJo's uh, Bizarre Adventure, that one I had like six hours into. Oh my gosh, that's and crazy. And the, the Marvel vs. Capcom uh, 2 one, I have about four hours into that one, and it's, it, it's just... I have a question someone asked me about, and I noticed it a little bit, but it doesn't distract me. There were people that were like, oh, it's a 16-9 game and you're presenting it 4-3, so it's squishing it a little bit. And it looks like it does a little bit, but it's not distracting to me. Yeah. So there is, um, so basically they're, they're with the scaler and you're, you're, you're working with the scaler and you're working, this is working with the NVIDIA drivers doing uh, some scaling yeah. with the actual drivers themselves. I can scale one game, I can scale Street Fighter 6 perfectly if I want to tweak it more, but since this it's is pretty running. It's good though, it's, I feel It's like. good, it's tuned, right, yeah. it's tuned, yeah. But since this is running a multi that um, I, had, I had to take consideration of all the other games yeah. in there, if you wanted to play. You know, real, a real four by three versus sixteen point nine. Four, you got the scale for. You got to have a yeah. middle ground, and this is this is it. Yeah. Color is beautiful. The it scaling looks, is perfect. Looks, the CRT looks, looks CRT. freaking amazing. I have, I literally, like I said, I literally went through the state of Georgia on the marketplace, and I looked for that exact model summer CRT, and I <laughs> scooped it. I have two of them. This thing will never die. That's awesome. So, I love yeah. it. Um, but I kind of want to jump in and play it. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if like we yeah. can get someone to come in. Um, well, yeah, we can open up some more of the guts here. Okay, yeah. So we'll, I'm gonna go over to the camera real quick. So we're gonna uh, we're we're gonna go over, and as soon as someone's done playing, we're actually gonna look inside the front because he has a bunch of other customization work to this. That uh, it really is a multi. It doesn't just play Street Fighter Six. So it actually plays like all the CPS one and two games, I think. And he's got a bunch of, and he custom made this whole menu system. Yes, it's, absolutely. It's so probably, I'm, I'm telling gonna, you, I do a lot of like multi-game things. He put a ton of work and absolutely. effort into this, yes. considering they kind of built it from the ground up. So it's pretty neat. So as soon as someone's done playing, we're gonna check it out. But um, who? Oh really? Oh nice. Well, he's on it right now. Does he know that? <laughs> So guys, we'll just let we'll have you watch a little bit of gameplay real quick, and then we'll um, we'll open up the front and do a couple cool things. Yeah. I also uh, earlier today we were here and I, I pressed the red button so I could see the moves. Yeah. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah. So that's uh, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. What Ralph's referring to is there's a uh, I'm using the coin up buttons. They have no use in Street Fighter Six, obviously. Uh, and I have plans. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, we'll just chat. but uh, oh, uh, one sec. You guys are enjoying some gameplay real quick and like I said uh, Josh is going to show us a little bit more of it here in a second uh, I don't know if you guys heard him he was talking about the scaling it's pretty damn good like I know people say it's a 16-9 game but it and it is but it plays it scales very very well to 4-3 yeah, well, I, I put our picture on Twitter so oh awesome yeah. cool dude <laughs> I bought, I'm buying an Avengers premium no way! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Congrats! Yeah. That's cool. We're gonna move you out in a couple hours. That's awesome! <laughs> Congrats, man. I just think he's pulling new players in. They're just like, yeah, it's, it's cool, man. I know. It keeps going. Uh, we might not, I don't know, we don't have to show the front inside, but I don't want to like interrupt people playing, but yeah, it can, would be cool to show. Yeah, we can, we'll show it in a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it'd be awesome, but. Good. You're should, live streaming. should we keep it live or or because we were gonna show the front, but I don't want it to go on for too long, obviously. I'm gonna um, okay. I'm gonna shine the light up in here because I I am actually thinking about building some more sets of these speakers to have them available. Oh, nice. Okay. Because oh, I have like for a, other people to purchase. Purchase, or? yeah. They'll they'll be um, eBay listings, but there will be. Yeah, that would Everybody be. Everybody awesome. loves it. They say it's a thing of beauty. Oh, I mean, it's amazing. You guys like. The time that and effort Josh put into this thing, it, it's it's definitely a uh, labor of love, that's for sure. Yeah, but it's duck under here. But I'm gonna shine the light. There's so your uh, that's the speaker there for if you want to zoom in a little bit. Yeah. So you see so the Josh ports and the drivers and stuff. Speakers. So get back in there for you. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, so I'll, let, I'll ask the chat real quick. Do you guys want us to hang out for a little while so you get to see the front? Because I don't want to like you know interrupt people playing. So let me know in the chat what you think about that. We can well, wait the, a little uh, bit if you guys are good with it. And if not, we'll. Uh, they did. <laughs> but the uh, the mar the marquees are already. I already have those available. I, I, the marquee I designed. Oh, okay. Um, I have a. I actually have a higher res version of the marquee <laughs> um, available. It's the same artwork but higher res. This was done. I guess we'll call it alpha marquee. Yeah. But this was done before uh, a lot of the. Uh, Official artwork started buzzing with yeah. them. Modded Wii? Oh, that's crazy. That's a, that's really a long time ago, man. Yeah, I do still have that modded Wii. I hang out. Okay, we'll hang out then. If Mike says it, we'll do it. Um, yeah, I mean, I think I already I think I already covered this, but for those that are just joining. Oh, here's a good question. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how does the game uh, not handle being in widescreen? The there's no, um, basically, as you can see, uh, with the scaling and everything, this is, um, the actual official resolution of this game right now is running 720. So they, um, so I have the game running in a 720, um, and then it's being scaled down to 480i. Okay. So, but the, the actual, but I, super, super resolution? Not necessarily, like, a, not really a super resolution, because bas basically the, the game, the game, if you, it sits out here on the screen, and then that's that's your 720, and um, and then we're, with your widescreen, it'll be perfect. With the 480, you would get, you know, you would you, you would have the bars and stuff if you wanted to, um, you have to do some cropping. So what they did was I brought the scale in, and then basically I had to uh, kind of make the difference up in the strength, and that's where you'll see not much pull on the screen, but the same kind of pull you'll get on a yeah. CRT. Anyway. I, I actually I don't feel see like much screen tearing. Or there's yeah. none, and uh, the, the scaling, the, the, the particular scaler, unfortunately, I bought the scaler back in 2015. That scaler um, is not available in the market. I've been searching constantly yeah. to buy more of them, but they just don't, everything that was on Amazon now, like I went through a whole bunch just trying to find different ones. Yeah. But it's all like the all, same they're all for, for, They all do 480p. They all okay. never do 480i, so this is kind of a... Oh. There's definitely ways around everything, yeah. but... I mean, I think it looks really good the way it lo it's yeah. presented. Yeah, because the monitors yeah. love the interlace. Yeah. yeah. It, it looks yeah, good. Yeah, and then, like I said, the, um... And then, like I said, we were, just like we were talking about earlier, it's like, if we went out of this and went into a regular, um, like, Street Fighter 2 Turbo, it looks native. Yeah. And that's, that's what I was going for, is to have, you know... To be able to do both, both of those. Worlds. Yeah, to be able to do the and retro this, stuff. This is awesome, man. Like, <laughs> I could have easily thrown an LCD in here, but... You can um, you can get some bar stools now, and I have an Xbox 360 controller, or not an Xbox One controller, and you go in that top screen. And, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, I do. I do campaign, and so the single player. Yeah. The single player plays great on the oh, top nice, screen. Oh nice. Nice. And then, um, but I have a. I was going to get a little bit more crazier, and I was going to actually put a, a Elgato capture card and all in there, and do like. Oh push, yeah. Oh, I want streams. Yeah. I, I contacted. Uh, I contacted uh, them and everything to see if they have Wi-Fi available at the convention. And I was going to live stream the machine from Twitch with an overhead oh, camera. Man. Yeah, that I was going to have a top so down. Cool, yeah. And I was going to have the actual gameplay footage in, like uh, OBS. Yeah. But maybe next year. Next year we'll get, All right, get some. I think we can get in yeah. there now. All right, we're going to get in there now, guys. All right. What did you run it? PC? Yeah, it's a PC with Steam. It's the Steam version of. Uh, so we're gonna. He's gonna. He's gonna open up the front of it. I don't know if he's gonna show us the other goodies he showed me the other day. It actually has a lot more to it than just Street Fighter right, Six. Got the, we'll we'll see if he does. Yeah. yeah. yeah the keys. <laughs> That's the game select. Oh, I have. But check this out real quick. So like, if you don't know how to play the game, you can press this button. So like, you press this at. red button, and it I gives you all the move sets. And he custom did all this stuff. So like. It changes, like the marquee interacts with the game. This is super cool. So if I click it again, it goes away. That's pretty neat. Yeah. Yeah, and then, uh, yeah, so there. So and that, that, that translates through, uh, that's gonna be translating through more of the more of the system. Yeah. So, but yeah, this so we, is, Did you wanna show us the rest or? Yeah, or, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Um, and we can turn that off there. But yeah, even like all, I even took the sign, the detail, like you got the purple joysticks and stuff. Yeah. So. But uh, yeah, we can uh, pop the panel open here. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and lower the volume. Okay, that might okay, help yeah. a little bit. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, 
So he's just lowering the volume on the, it, you know, he's got that set up just for convenience of the show so he can lower it if he needs to. So. Oh, I didn't ask you what the encoder board is. Is it an iPad? Um, no, no, no. iPads will not work. Okay, well, yeah, what is I, it? This is um, Xenmo. Xenmo is uh, XM10. Okay. Uh, right, classic cool. game room solution. Okay, cool. So yeah, they're, they're actually one of the uh, vendors here. So that they are, um, they're actually local to me. Oh, nice. So it okay. is like super, um, so they're like 15 minutes from my front door. Yeah. So we're best friends now. <laughs> nice. But yeah, I have, a, I have a whole slew of these now. They're like, uh, but this, this basically, this is for any type of modern game, basically uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 3 and higher thing. Okay. Um, run on this encoder. The, uh, this emulates an Xbox One controller. Okay, to a perfect. T. That's so awesome. it actually, um, or PlayStation, whatever you want to call it. Um, but I think it's more close to an Xbox One, even down to the home button, like the Xbox logo home button. Yeah. It all work on there. So if you were, you can have all that translate through. Um, That's perfect. All the, this is all wired on. I did custom oh, pick wow. harnesses. Oh, and nice. Stuff like okay. That. So there's your. So I didn't just clip stuff together. I didn't make it functional. And this kicks down into a whole bunch of other features and stuff like that. So. Um, so that goes down to your coin door lights, your coin door buttons, the, um, some other various things. The, and you were saying you were gonna maybe try to make it coin operated just for fun? I, yeah, yeah, I'm working on a very, very unique way to do it, and it's a whole nother topic for yeah, another yeah, conversation, yeah, we'll but. So do you wanna, can you show us just some of the other things it does really Yeah, quick? let's get into it. Yeah. So I have, um, let's see here, let me get the keys out here. Yeah. I think we were disabled. So these are these are a button I had. Um, these are actually going to be available for sale. Oh, I have okay, cool. um, I have two versions of this button coming out. Uh, these are just game select buttons. They can be used for various other reasons. You have the version, huh? Yeah, how much to buy the whole thing? How much would it sell like this box? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> um, so the the cabinet itself was literally um, this cabinet was black when I got it. Okay. So this, this this is a complete respray. Um, but so this uh, I had to completely strip down, orange strip the cabinet down. This is a free cabinet. So to me, oh, that, nice. that was okay. really awesome. Um, but the as far as top end, I think around 3,500 is what I got all in on the bill. Okay. Yeah. Um, so 3,500. Most of the money, if anyone in the RK scene knows, goes to the art yeah. guy. The art guy. <laughs> yeah. I'm like the wood guy was great. This is this is a CNC panel. This is uh, not the original panel. Okay. Um, yeah, this, it looks great. Yeah, so I got this CNC'd out. Um, I found the guy luckily, and then um, the then uh, the acrylic the CNC guy did the acrylic for me also. Nice. So yeah. this is perfect. And then the actual um, laminate. This was this was actually off the CNC file. I sent the CNC file to the guy. Oh, and he made that for you too. Awesome. Yeah, so yeah. I didn't have to do any trimming or anything. This is a uh, Capcom artwork with the uh, overlay, the button overlay. Just so you know how Capcom does their artwork. This is the alpha artwork to fit appropriate to the yeah. cabinet. So, and alpha artwork, you are you cannot find this inside of a U.S. seller. So this, uh, all the artwork came from the Zona Arcade, and um, they're basically he's in Madrid, and uh, oh, he, wow, okay. he has anything and everything big blue. Oh, that's so awesome. If you want Bomberman artwork. He's got bomber He's got it. Oh, that's so cool, ass. man. Yeah. They, they got some rarity stuff. Um, but yeah, yeah, but typically everything else is I, IL Euro. Okay. So um, cool. did the proper flight sticks and stuff for there. The, nice. um, so yeah, the. What? Oh, cool. And then, and then the. Um, so yeah, let's. Are you okay showing the like menu thing you've Yeah, let's go. Let's okay. go. So let's get. So the button here, like I said, this these, these have. Um, this, these are gonna come in, um, they're available for every game, have all the artwork done for uh, Capcom, Mortal Kombat, Cruising, everything, so these will be all styled to the artwork. They come in with or without a kick switch, so, um, and this, that's obviously the kick switch is on. If this was off, that button will be disabled, obviously. Yeah. Okay. So right now, um, this is the actual uh, Street Fighter VI landing page. We can go back a level here. Yeah. Um, so this is the, this is just a Street Fighter VI trailer playing. Um, yeah. uh, and when you designed it for the show, so for the show specifically, this thing boots straight into Street yeah, Fighter VI. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. you're showing us some of the like other We're things. We're showing. You've yeah, done. this is home mode. Okay. Yeah, we'll call this home mode. So. Um, so yeah, all the videos and stuff are sourced. This is just simply a trailer that they they did right at launch. 
But if we go back in menu, um, going back, this is a whole different reel I put together um, for Street Fighter Six, and this was just all kind of just yeah. took footage, clipping it together. It's definitely when you get into the machine, um, it's just like you can go through there. Um, you got very detailed with like explanation as far as the buttons translate through everything. Yeah, you know what you're always doing. Yeah. You go from a six button to two button to a three button game. You're not like you're, you're just like yeah. okay, yeah. So and we can show you that. We'll go into. Street Fighter. So, so the Street Fighter menu is going to give us like yep. the legacy Street Fighter games, yep. right? Yeah, this is Street Fighter Collection. All the marquees, they roll from so top to bottom here. It's going to start every mark, every platform, we'll call them the Street Fighter platform here. Um, this starts in classic Street Fighter. And by the time you get to the end of the marquee, it'll be in modern Street Fighter. We'll flip back in a okay. second All right here. Cool. And again, with this translation, this That's shows cool. you that classic controls. Six button, there's a couple alternative layouts. That's your uh, Puzzle Street Fighter Turbo two player, touch, you know, the Tetris yeah. one, and there's a three button in there. But um, yeah, we'll leave this one for a second so we can check that reel yeah. out. And um, so, but yeah, then this is translates and um, see, there's Street Fighter Six artwork now on the, so it kind of gives awesome. you yeah. always something different going yeah. on with the machine. And it's just kind of. So, like, if you pull up Street Fighter Two Champion Edition, yeah. is it going to, like, reskin it up here? Right, so now we're going to go into here. There's Alpha. There's your Street Fighter yeah, so Championship so Edition. Marquee yeah. changes. Back, yeah, it's really sitting cool. Back, <laughs> you would think walking up on this is a Championship Edition cab. So this is. Um, That's really cool. Yeah, so this is. Uh, yep. And I went and got it. I went and got all the uh, the, the full size art because you have the. Uh, yeah. One, you got the third. Where, and where got, did you get all the sources for all that? Was it just like wherever you could find it's it? Just kind of? searching and searching. Yeah. Every game, it's just a new, 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 new adventure. Yeah. So um, <laughs> I bet. some can and you know I'm working on more. So, um, and, and like I, I don't want to touch everything because this, this is how it's you know yeah. how it's meant to be. But like Street Fighter V, modern. You know you don't want to feel like it's classic. We're in a more modern generation, so now this feels more candy yeah, cabbage. Yeah, for sitting sure. Down, you got like learning you know learn how to play the game real quick so street fighter 5 and if we went in this this would play street fighter 5 okay but uh we did and then go through the alpha yeah, even street awesome. fighter movie here's the one i was telling you this is a three button game this is actually surprisingly a super fun game if you yeah, want to get I've kids into street yeah. fighter let's turn it on now. okay <laughs> what, is, what is the whole like goal so this is a this is a japanese version it's a puzzle game right puzzle. No, this is this is not a puzzle game. Oh, it's a fighting there, game? There's, uh, there is a puzzle, a, there's Street Fighter Puzzle Super. Yeah, I uh, played the puzzle, yeah, Super yeah. Puzzle Fighter or something, yeah. Yeah, that's the one here also. And then so, like, this is, uh, going back to your scaling collection, or your scaling, we're 14 by three, but you, we're trying to play the game, you know, to, yeah. we gotta play fair for Street Fighter. Uh, so, did they have the original Street Fighter characters in this? Yeah, this is a really fun game. Can we play it real quick? Yeah. <laughs> so these oh, buttons, great. they don't do your surprise menus no more. They they coin up the machine. Okay. So that's what we want. So control layout, three button bottom. Oh, it's only three buttons. Yeah. Okay. So it's uh, but it's, your, it's just your. Was this a Japanese only release or something? Yeah. I like, don't remember this game. This okay. is Japanese only. So you've got just punch, kick, and special. Yeah. So this, so your special move is just a button. Yeah. Oh, and like I said, this is um. And then, but yeah, this 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 I did not have to do this artwork, but it is. Oh, that's cool. See, it's got like um. So what happens here is it shows you what the move is first, and then it shows you how to do the move. Okay. So see, there we go. So it kind of gets you introduced <laughs> to the Street Fighter for if you're younger, really. <laughs> That's cool. So. Oh, wow. Well, all the moves go. are here. That's cool. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, but it's, and it's Gym Fighter. So the um, so you're, you're collecting the gyms as you're playing along. And as you collect the items, they unlock different um, different items. So like you have a, so you have a different weapon. OK. And, um, this here, this is one of the uh, animated marquees. So this is done. Did in you a, make this? Adobe or? Premiere. Okay, so you made this yep, in Premiere. Adobe Premiere. And this, just is the, these are gift animations, and it, they just they just change colors. Every character at the same time, and um, kind of fits the game with the color, like that how they so do, cool. how they do the thing. So um, that's awesome. Man. But there's that. I wanted to see if my buddy, I wanted to see if my buddy Nick would come and over then, and play me in this. But yeah, but then there's your there's your button here, and then. Um, I want to. We'll show them the puzzle game here. 
All right, I'm just texting my my buddy real quick. Yeah, Puzzle Fighter 2, Super Puzzle Fighter 2, yeah. No, I don't, no, because they're probably good at it. Yeah. They're probably good. So, and then we got the, we got Not the, that Nick isn't good, actually, he's pretty good. Yeah. Huh? 30 minutes? Okay, we'll wrap it up. We'll wrap it up in a second. So wait, would you, this, no, it's, oh, this is a good one, too. Yeah. I have played this before. Yeah. Cause I don't know, is it, is it, do you play two players on this? Like against yeah, yeah, each yeah, other? Yeah, yeah, you can. And the sound, I can't, I, I wish that you guys could actually, like, I wish that the, the audio was good enough so you could get a, like, a total experience of how good this sounds. With the subwoofer and the speakers, it sounds so damn yeah, good. Yeah, the panel rumbles. Yeah, the panel yeah, actually, we have, we like, have a, this, <laughs> this is at 50% volume now, so yeah. we turn it down, but. Yeah. Oh, wait, if I actually got a point up. Oh, okay. <laughs> So it's just the bottom three, right? I think, or the bottom two. These are two. I think it's just these two. It's basically like a versus Tetris, right? And that's basically what it is. Oh, oh I gotta come in the game. Oh, there we go. Challenge. Okay. Yeah, and then you can do these patterns up here, and these uh, these will do little okay things and stuff like that. Are you? I think I'm not coined up. That's not... Oh, okay. But that's okay. You can show it really quick, and I'll uh... yeah. But yeah, that's fine. But we can uh, we can keep cycling through a little bit more. Of yeah. It. Okay. But it just kind of showed us an interesting one. But let's uh back out of Street Fighter real quick, and um... so you have you don't you didn't put any of the non you didn't put like non fighting games on it, right? It's all mid no, no, fighting no. games. Um, Mars Matrix is non-fighting. Okay. So Dungeons, it's all Capcom though. Every Dungeons, single game, every single game, game yeah. Dungeons and Dragons. It's got a pretty that's cool, cool intro. Yeah. Yeah, that's so cool. This one does. Uh, this one will do some cycling. So and then um, so Dungeons and Dragons. This is uh, four buttons. You get an item select, magic, and, nice. and stuff like that. Um, Cadillacs and dinosaurs, with classic. Cool. Alien versus predators. Cool marquee. They would show the camera here. It's like how this here is you're in your marquee here with the platform. When you actually go to play the game, it this will pop up. Set. Yeah, that's now you cool. know the button. All the games set. show. Yeah, is it every, it's pretty much every game, right? Yeah, yeah. It's getting getting to be every game. Yes. It will be by the time it's done. Okay. But so yeah. it's like every almost every game on here when you go to it, like you the would top never right. know. Yeah, you would know. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's these cool. three. And that's how that's how the can that's how the game really played. It's, yeah. like, it mimics yeah. I went in uh, so um, the 1942 has got a pretty cool little thing. Is Punisher active? I got said, Punisher working Oh, you do? It. Okay, yeah. so Punisher, so I've always wanted to, the Punisher is actually not a big blue, it's a big black. And, yeah, uh, I, 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 can, I do not, I, I, there's no way I can uh, yeah, yeah. visually change the camera. I need like a 65 inch si TV side panel. Maybe and, one day, right? But that, <laughs> that's really cool, because uh, we were talking cabinet. yesterday and I was like, does that have Punisher? And he's like, well, kind of, he already got it working. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's cool. I love Punisher. It's awesome. And I'm starting to build out the little marquee for this. I bet, the, I bet Punisher sounds. Can we play it really quick? I bet it sounds really good on here. Yeah. And I got to. We're going to play Punisher really quick because I know it must sound, with this audio system, it probably sounds so good. Yeah, and then. Um... All right, we got Punisher up here in a second. Yeah, just, I know this, uh, if you guys have some other questions, like uh, going back to Street Fighter VI for a minute, um, you cannot get into the settings menu. Like, that's why it's been running so good at the Expo. There's no way you can go into settings. And you have it, like, completely locked down, There's a, right? There's button, There's four buttons here in the side. These, uh, these are for, they run these, I can run these, like, volume control, but these uh, run the menu for Street Fighter VI. So if I need to go oh, into nice. menu, you need it in and the that's game. intentionally done so no one yeah, can like, mess with it. Yeah, attention to detail, but yeah, I don't want people going in yeah, there. Like, that's important for you guys to know. So, uh, like this thing, I've walked by here a bunch of times, and it's always stable and it's always working because there's no way for the person using it to, to break out to like a menu system or anything. Yeah, they put the menus play. behind the key. Yeah, yeah. And that, that's it. this game would have been down hours ago. Yeah. Someone <laughs> oh, had been sure. in there and had like, let's put the game in 1080 and see what I'm it does. Sure, it yeah. just crashed, I'm but. sure. <laughs> I think we're not coined up, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I got it. 
Yeah, this is a fun one too. I... Let me see. We got. We might be turned down so the volume. Yeah. Oh, I hear it coming. So. I... I challenged Nick Madsen to come over here, but he's not coming. I don't know what the deal is. Oh, wait. How's everyone, how's everyone doing in the chat? Are you guys, like, still there? I don't know. I'm like, we, we, this is a longer stream, so. Yeah. I'm still there. I've seen you in the Pac-Man Have you showed anybody else the other games, or have you been kind of just keeping it Street Fighter Six? A little bit, a little bit, but not too much. Everyone just wants to play Street Fighter. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. But there, there's like minor things, like how that's coming off the top of the screen. You can go in per game, and I can do a little uh, adjusting with the side yeah, yeah. of. Uh, so. See, like this, this game here, because it's pretty. The volume's up, so this will need like some audio gain again. So yeah, yeah, it's it's yeah. per game, and that's why I do. That's why I bring the games in one at a time for my sanity of art and yeah, just perfecting the game. Yeah, perfect you, know, you don't want to just throw a bunch of stuff at it. You'll never enjoy it. So. Um, well, let's put it back on Street Fighter 6 and then we can wrap up since yeah. uh, people have been here for a while. So, I, But I appreciate you going over all of it with me. And awesome, man. Yeah, it was, it's been yeah. fun. I, so. But I know that everyone's probably itching to... Your line, your line went away. I kicked your line out of here. <laughs> yeah, man. See, like that's a that's a read. Like that's the thing. How we just went to the the uh, we went to Steam. That that's one thing. Like in the Expo mode, that wouldn't have happened. That's yeah. the, that when it, you, you can run this in what's called a shell mode, and in everything like Steam and any uh, dependencies or anything, they all run what in silent mode, so they have yeah. it put up. But, yeah, but we're gonna go back into uh, let's see Street Fighter Six. Um, and then how do you make sure it stays in expo mode or does it automatically do that? Take a kill switch. Fighting is an art. Okay, so expo. now they can't change it. Yep. Okay. The expo switch. In Sweet. Is okay. So from here, from here, if I press it, I'm gonna be in the game, right? Yeah. Will it let me play sol a solo game? Yeah. Against the computer? I wanna see how good I do against the computer. Alright. So we'll just go in there and um, and then like this is um, and this is like all the the uh, just like that, we're back out of coin, and then we're back into our little, you okay. know, little custom so, menus. And so stuff. I'm gonna play Street Fighter VI against the computer. I've only played it twice now, so um, it's, I'm brand new to it. You wanna play me? All right, let's play. I mean, if you know the regular Street Fighter moves, it's kind of the same. Yeah. Yep. I yeah, mean, there's new stuff, obviously. Yeah, but... classic six player, and then um, so basically, uh, you got you got classic six stuff, and then uh, you have the, the the drive system, and that's what this is for people that are not too familiar with it. This basically does combos. If I did that, that would do like the impact, and they call it the art moves of Street Fighter Six. Okay. They, uh, but they're uh, there's some parries, and they're more difficult moves, and then there, there's a whole bunch of other moves out there for Street Fighter, obviously. Yeah. It's just a gauge of it, but, and. But. All right, you, you want to do it? Yeah, All right. And this game does, at home, this game does 100% work online. So you play yeah, yeah. real people. You play that you <laughs> All right, the, um, let's do it versus. All right. All right. Matt, you better come over. Big, yep. That's, I guess, whatever the good stage, stage you want to go. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, I don't want to be... Oh, shit, I don't want to be Kimberly. How do I unselect... Shit, how do I unselect it? Ah, oh, I don't even know how to play her. We were both playing... Oh, no, wait, I think you backed out. You backed out, we're good. Uh, yeah, of course. Yeah, it's, it's, we have it turned down too. It gets louder. We have it turned down for. Uh, yeah. Well, if you know Ryu, it's basically the same, similar moves. Holy shit, it's loud. <laughs> Look, 
over here behind you for two seconds here. Never played it. All right. Still gonna beat Ralph there. I did beat. I beat Nick Madsen. So. Oh damn! What was that? You got one more round here. You got one more round. <laughs> yeah, you're a Mortal Kombat guy. Come on. Hey. No. What the fuck? Come back. Two daughters? Two daughters. Oh, okay. This is this is their machine. This is why it's not for sale. Oh, all right. She'll sell it to you, but she's gonna want a really high price. Say hi to everybody. Everyone's watching you. <laughs> That's awesome. Do you watch Retro Ralph? Say just say yes. Do you hey. watch Retro Ralph? Yeah. Uh, we got TNT amusements. Yeah. So they got right. their game of fair on though. They're good. That's awesome. So right. what do you do you want to plug anything? Like are you selling anything or any website? No, or... It's coming, but not yet. Not so yet. You have to tell me because then I'll put it yeah, in we'll the video. Yeah, we'll get there. So all right. yeah, but uh, all right, guys, well, that's awesome, it. Guys. Thanks, Josh, for showing it, it to it. us. Yep. And uh, so, and, uh yeah, next reading. year, um, there's more coming next year. This is uh, yeah. You said you're doing some custom stuff for next yeah, year. Yeah, we'll be four machines. I have I have some machines that are pressing really fast, and um, so they're gonna. Awesome. I got some cool stuff. So all right. Have, uh, Thanks, cool dude. Thank Appreciate you. it. <laughs> right. Appreciate it, guys. All right, we'll see you next time, everybody. Take care.